Sometimes people will ask me what I call myself. Am I a stuntman? Am I a comedian? Am I an author, an actor? And you know what I am? I'm an attention whore. Hey GQ, I'm Steve-O, and these are my absolute essentials. Let's get into it. I'm a real road warrior, so I go everywhere with everything I need. And this carry-on luggage, I could very easily replace. But what I could not replace, and I cannot live without, is this back scratcher. I got it at Whole Foods in maybe 2009. My body is generally becoming decrepit, so I can't reach areas where I have itches. And then the back scratcher is just super important to me. I could never replace it. It's the greatest back scratcher of all time. Out of fear that I may lose it, I've tried to replace it, and there just isn't one out there that can do the trick. My travel water pick. For all my years of hardcore partying and drug abuse, I never took care of my teeth and gums and I ended up with all kinds of problems. There was a time when I got in the jackass van and we man said, oh dude, fucking Steve-O your breath. And Knoxville said, saying Steve-O has bad breath is like saying we man is short. So this thing is absolutely crucial. Here's how it works. Blast all this stuff out from in between your teeth, which would go rotten and stink. So I count my water pick as toiletries, which are very important to me. I've got my toiletry kit right here. And when I check into a hotel room on the road, I then take a picture of my wiener in the mirror with the toiletries and I send it to my girl. And among my toiletries, I have an absolute essential in my pill planner. It's called Zoloft, man. I went to therapy back in 2013, and this therapist was telling me that he feels that I have like a lot of anxiety and that Zoloft would help me. And I'm like, dude, I'm a clean and sober guy. You know, I don't take drugs. Turned out the therapist was a clean and sober guy too, and I just decided to humor him. I've since found that Zoloft really helps me. If I stop taking it, my mind can go to super dark places. If I am taking it, like, full steam ahead, baby. Gonna have my speakers, you know it, because I got a rock. I'm not gonna count these speakers as essential because they're so replaceable. But I do love them because they've got these marks. When I would do meet and greets after my shows on tour, I'd pull out a marker to sign stuff and I'd push it in, jam it on there. So every one of these dots represents a different show on tour. You know, I, I will count the speakers as essential, but they're just not that sexy. What's sexy? <laughs> What I really think is essential is the markers I travel with. Markers are totally essential to me. You know, I'm big into signing my merch. I'm ready to do it with white paint pen, with black marker, with silver. I'm so proud of my autograph. I practiced my autograph for years before anybody wanted it. And after signing it for the longest time, all of a sudden I realized that when I write my signature, I'm actually drawing a penis. I mean, it's fascinating. I gotta show it. I gotta show you. You got a piece of paper? Yeah. And if it's a really important autograph, then I'll do hashtag dickograph. This is for you guys. <laughs> I'm an attention whore, and I gotta be ready to film attention-seeking behavior at all times. That's three different 4K cameras, and I'm ready to load up big memory cards, and then back it up on the hard drive, 
and then in virtually real time, added it on the computer. Two really killer lights. What I operate with is a full-blown studio in my backpack. It's safe to say that camera stores are my happy place. Just had a really great experience at a camera store in Washington, D.C. On the same day that uh, I got arrested for climbing on the Lincoln Memorial. Years ago, my tour manager said, you should come out with your own hot sauce because you just love hot sauce so much. And I was kind of resistant to it, but then we decided to give it a shot. And we came up with Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole. We tried all different recipes and combined multiple ones of them. There was the triple X habanero I really liked, but also the habanero garlic. They had to go together. So technically I'm a chef. The other flavor that we just came out with, which is called Stevo's Butthole Destroyer Hot Sauce. The top three ingredients are the three hottest peppers in the world. Scorpion, Ghost, and uh, Carolina Reaper. So that's what's filling up the bottle. But people are buying it. Candidly, my diet's kind of all over the place. Being sensitive to my nutrition needs, I'm counting this as totally essential. It's called Athletic Greens AG1. This is how I start every day. I meditate in the morning, I get water to hydrate, and I pour it into the water, my Athletic Greens AG1, and it's great because I can do it on an empty stomach. It gives me all of the nutrition I need. I can feel good about eating like a jerk for the rest of the day, and it's actually delicious too. And they're not paying me to say that right now. So when I finish my athletic greens in the morning, now I'm hydrated and I feel good about just pounding coffee. So I fill up this 24 ounce thermos. Oh man, this is up there on the essentials, dude. Plus this one in particular, I've managed to not lose through months of touring. What I love about it so much is that it's got this button, which is like a trigger, you know? It's not gonna spill unless you pull the trigger. Cool. So that's nine, and now it comes down to the most magical essential of them all. When up, up. <laughs> my wonderful Wendy from Peru. I actually found her in the streets of Peru. The video I made of bringing Wendy home from Peru got more views than any video I've ever put on the internet. That's a real kick in the nuts. But <laughs> she comes with me everywhere. She's a bona fide, legit service dog. She's with me on every airplane. She's with me on every tour date. She actually performs in my show. I mean, she's just a phenomenal dog. I mean, she's extraordinary. She's a, a Belgian Malinois and evidently Xanax mix. <laughs> so there we have it, folks. I cannot live without these items and your attention means the world to me. So thank you for watching. And man, take care of the ones you love, dudes. Woo! <laughs>